everyone, we're going to determine the function uh, from stationary points, find B and C. So what we have is we have our missing uh, constants here, coefficients, and we're given the stationary points. So what we're really doing is we're working reverse of what we usually do. Usually we're given the function and then you find the stationary points. But now we have different um, information so we're going to like work backwards. So the first thing we want to do is find our derivative as we normally do to find stationary points and that's going to give you 3x squared plus 2bx minus c. And we want to set this to 0. Now usually what you do is you find the stationary points uh, based off that. Um, and that means when x is 1, when you plug in 1 uh, in here, uh, in your x's, you'll get 0. And also when you plug in uh, or substitute x with negative 3, you will get 0. So what we're going to do is just plug it in and solve for our b and c. So that's going to be, um, for the first one, we're going to have uh, x equals 1. Then we're going to have x equals um, negative 3. And that's when our derivative with respect to, y, uh, respect to x equals 0. So just plug that in and we're going to get 3 times 1 squared plus 2b minus c equals 0. That's when x is 1. And when x is negative 3, we're going to get 3 times negative 3 squared plus uh, 2 times negative 3b minus c equals 0. All right. Uh, straighten this up a little bit. We get equation 1. We'll call this one um, 3 plus 2b minus c equals 0. And equation 2, we're going to get, um, let's see, 27 minus 6b minus c equals 0. Now we have a, a system of equations here. And if I want, I'm going to rewrite this as, uh, I'm going to add c to both sides. So we have simultaneous equations. So we have uh, these, both of these c's have to be the same. So we're going to uh, set them to be the same. So we have c equals c. So we have 27 minus 6b equals c. That's this c. And uh, these have to be the same. And this one is going to be uh, 3b. What was this one? Um, 3 plus 2b equals c. So these are your c equals c's. Now solving, you're going to get, um, let's see, 8b. I'm going to add 6b to both sides, or 6b to both sides. And I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So that gives us uh, 24 equals 8b. Therefore, you divide both sides by 8, you get b equals 3. All right. And then we easily can find c by just using substitution and plugging this 3 into either this one or this one or both. So I'll just plug it into this one. And you get 3 plus 2 times 3. And that's going to give you um, 9. You could also do this one, 27 minus 6 times 3, um, that also gives you 9. So C equals 9. And then all you have to do is write out your equation. And your equation is going to be Y equals X cubed. And substitute our B was 3. So X cubed plus 3X squared. Our C is 9, so minus 9x plus 6. So we determined the function based off our stationary points. And that's it. 
Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>